Okay. In direct materials, uh, Kristen. Two hundred fifty thousand. What? Yeah. Perfect. Brett. Conversion costs in. Four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay. I need math done. Nicole, can you do direct materials? Sarah, can you do conversion costs, please? Well, I guess maybe I can do it. Huh? You're using your calculator, Nicole? I don't want to use that right. <laughs> How'd I do? Nicole, is that right? Yeah. Sarah? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you actually, I mean, I got to where, when I was studying for the CPA exam, because I couldn't use a calculator on the CPA exam when I took it, I got doing this kind of stuff, you can do it, you can do it faster by hand if you're comfortable doing so. Because you don't have to take, I mean, you can do it, I, I mean, basically as fast as you can write the numbers, you're, you're done. So now we're going to get to do something really, really exciting. JJ, what do you think we're going to do next? We have costs and we have units. What do you think we're going to calculate? Uh, no, 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 we're still over on the right side. We're still on the, over on the right side. Uh, we've got costs. I'm trying to help you here. We've got costs, and then we've got units. So what, what's that just make you really want to calculate now? Costs per unit, right? We've got costs. We've got units. Don't you, don't, don't you just got a hankering to calculate cost per unit? JJ does not. He does not have a hankering for that. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to calculate cost per equivalent unit, okay? For those two columns. And how are we going to do that? How do you think we're going to do that, Rebecca? Let's do that for direct materials. Are you asking me? So tell me. Beautiful. Have you done it? No. No? I, no, this is math it's helpful to have a calculator for. Anybody? You got it? Okay. Four point what? Four point one five three eight. One five three eight. And she went out to three decimal places because the problem said to. Okay. Right, Brandon? Right. Awesome. Evan, what are we going to do for conversion costs? How are we going to calculate cost per equivalent unit? Good talk. Brandon is now feeling particularly lucky because this is the second time I've talked to him today. And he's the first person in class today to have that privilege. Here we took 270,000 divided by 65,000, 270,000 dollars divided by 65,000 units. What are we going to do over here? Yes. 466,000 dollars to be a little more precise. That's okay. Divided by 61,000 units. I made the same mistake just moments ago and it's on tape, so I can't deny it. Chris, you have this calculated? Where is your calculator? 7.6394. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 6393. Are you sure? Okay. Chris. Hey, is it his calculator? Where's yours? Oh, is she worth it? Okay. <laughs> Alex, I want to have the sum of these two. The I would like the sum of 
the 4.1538 and the 7.6393. Okay, so that, you num that number is going to prove useful. Chance, let's, the easier number to calculate here, and we're doing, re I'm feeling a lot more calm now. We've got 10 more minutes, and we've only got four numbers to calculate. So I'm feeling kind of a little better, a little more relaxed, <laughs> kind of the, <sighs> the easier number to calculate well, actually, give me names, chance, for the two numbers where the question marks are. What, what names do we have in class for these two numbers? What's the... F Anybody? Ending inventory. That's one of them I was fishing for. And the other one's out. This wasn't supposed to be a stumper. And it is, it does have the fancy name of cost of goods manufacturer. That out, that particular out does. Okay. When do they get transferred out? When they're done. When they're finished, ready to be done to be well, certainly when they're done here. Right? So how complete are these units? That's what I'm trying to fish for. How complete are these? 100%, okay? So this number's relatively easy to calculate, okay? How do you think we're gonna go about calculating it, Brandon? It's relatively easy and straightforward. as I sneak away from the camera to take my drink this time, because she's got the camera focused on the numbers that are on the board. You got me? Yes, I did. Brandon, you're on. I want to know how to calculate out. Because you should be thinking about what's coming next all the time, shouldn't you? I mean, you, you, should, you should, should, Kaylee, do you have a calculator? What do you have calculated? Uh, $57, yes, so it's 57,000 units times 11.7931 equals, Whitney, do you have this calculated? Oh, what do you have, Kaylee? Um, 622,277. There we go. Awesome. 